Good morning, folks. Hope you caught last night's upload on the big eruptions on the far side of the sun. Those spots are still making their way around to see us again, but we've got a full slate to deal with today, so let's get to it all at spaceweathernews.com. When you come look at the last 24 hours on our star, it's not too obvious something tremendous just happened on the far side. Facing Earth, there were no solar flares or ejections. Here at Earth, the coronal hole stream intensity is enduring for the third straight day, causing ongoing geomagnetic storm effects at low level. Next stream will be coming from the southern coronal hole. does reach up much closer to the equator than was obvious yesterday. Kind of looks like the Kermadec and Tonga trench system in shape. Of course, a few days, big sunspot will be facing Earth again. Here's the far side double solar flare and CME from last night from Stereo A and Soho Coronagraphs. We'll see the sunspot incoming in about three or four days and it will face Earth about four or five days after that. The uptick in solar flaring has had many questioning the fact that we're in solar minimum. Well, the areas I'm circling on the sunspot and radio flux charts of the solar cycle show the last time we had X10 solar flares and now. It is key to remember that sunspot cycles are about long-term sunspot number. They don't disappear at minimum entirely and it just takes one sunspot to make a big flare. Turns out the impressive individual solar flares have been recorded many times during otherwise low sunspot activity. Now sunspots have still been rare these days, it's just that one of the ones that did pop up happened to be a beast. I'll run through the hurricane models for the Atlantic here, European model first. Both this and the GFS model we'll watch second show only minor and west side impacts from these systems on the U.S. coastline. Remember, south and east is the harshest part of the storm. They are favoring the northward shifts and curls in the models right now, and it is unfortunate to have to say so, but if sunspots are driving up the x-ray count in three or four days when we see it again, the westward tracks to these storms should be heavily favored, and the U.S. would need to be on major watch. I'll be watching the sun first. Interesting paper linked for you today. Now, these folks are in favor of dark energy, but communicate on the major problems it causes with the cosmological constant. When they begin to realize that one paradigm within their mainstream contradicts another, it is the beginning of rethinking the whole system. We greatly appreciate your support. If you weren't around this past weekend, we announced the conference speakers for Observing the Frontier 2018. That was on Saturday. I recommend either watching or heading to observatoryproject.com to check out the details. We've got your wind maps, water run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.